get ready to take your business to the next level. Get set to flying to the billion dollar threshold with speakers Dr. Shingi Munyeza, Dr. Teddy Dalmeida, and Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. Welcome to the Billionaires Mindset Summit 2014. My name is Pastor Tumelo Barobatile. I come from Gaborone, Botswana. I came to the Billionaires uh, Mindset Summit, highly expecting God to change my life, to align my life with the um, kingdom wealth, and also on how to finance and support the work of God. My name is Alice Makaya. I'm a news presenter and talk show host. And I must say that I'm really excited to be here at the Billionaires Conference because I know that I will walk out with a mentality to create a wealth for myself so that I can give back to the economy. And I just want to say thank you to Prophet Makandiwa and Prophetess Ruth Makandiwa for hosting the show. My name is Pastor Nyashanya Kudanga. Uh, we are here tonight at the Billionaires Business Summit. I believe that our businesses are going to be transformed and consequently also our nation will be transformed as billionaires will be raised for this nation. My name is Angel Adisho. I'm from Namibia, Valvisby. My name is Isaac Moshoadiba. I come from South Africa, uh, Pretoria. My name is Christopher Lumai. I came from Zambia. I'm Mr. Dafana from Tare. I tell you, I'm so expectant. I'm so expectant. I'm highly expectant. I'm excited about a day like today because I know after this uh, seminar, after this day, and tomorrow and the other day, my life will never be the same again. I'm Pastor Msenga Kalinda. I'm coming all the way from Zambia. The Billionaire's Mindset uh, Business Summit is a summit that is going to transform our minds because when our minds are transformed, everything is going to be transformed. Our finances, our marriages, everything, whatever we do, if our minds can be transformed, everything will be transformed. And I believe that uh, today my life shall be transformed and I shall never be the same. We are expecting to be transformed, we are expecting to be empowered with new business skills so that in whatever we are going to be doing, uh, in all the, uh, the business ventures that we are doing, we are going to be expanded by reason of the impartation that will take place here. Uh, my personal projects and my wife's projects, we believe we are going to be turned into billionaires come the end of this summit. My name is Mnyara Zrukato, I'm a farmer and a miner. We have come to be empowered, that we can be enriched in our souls and in our minds. That once we leave the summit, we will be a renewed people. We will be a people with knowledge that we might know that we are going to be billionaires. So we need this anointing that is going to come tonight. This special anointing that's going to enrich our lives and change our lives to take us to the next phase. Tonight is going to be a very wonderful night. We are not here to talk about any other thing but money, okay? Tell your neighbor money, 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 money. I think the conference has been rightly named the billionaire's mindset. Here we're not just looking at the billions that the billionaire might have made but we are also looking at the mindset that they have. What is their mindset? How do they think? How do they look at life and perceive everything in life? So we are going to be looking at that and a lot of things. There is a very common scripture in the word of God that I would want to take as the foundational scripture for today's presentation. You've heard about it 
from different speakers, even from myself. But we're going to give it a different approach tonight. In an attempt to motivate you, to equip you and to empower you into making not just thousands of dollars, not just millions, but to enter into that billion dollar dimension. You have to enter. It's a territory that other people have entered. And it's a sure sign that you can also enter. If only we can develop the same mindset that those people might have developed. Turn with me to the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 8. Verse number 18. For thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swore unto thy fathers as it is this day. For thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that gives you power to get wealth. We may be seated. Now there is one simple thing that I would want all of us to understand tonight. That the whole idea behind doing business, it is selling. Selling is the whole idea. We might talk about this and talk about that. But if you cannot sell, you can't do business at all. Selling is the reason why you can say I'm in business. If you are not selling, you are not in business. But I want you to help me analyze this particular scripture. It's a promise that God gave to the children of Israel. Now, and within the promise, there is wealth that is mentioned there that shall come to an individual as a result of the power that was given to him by God. Now, the issue of making wealth if you look at the word mech there, it means the power to manufacture or to create wealth. It is the power to create wealth. And that word mech, the actual word there is asa, which means to fashion the power to fashion wealth. So you are not only just creating wealth, but you are fashioning wealth. There is such a power given to an individual by God to produce wealth. That's the power that I'm going to be analyzing tonight. That power that can be given to you during this conference and you can go out there and produce and fashion wealth. Now there is really nothing too mysterious about wealth creation. Wealth creation, it is all about following a particular formula. There is a formula that can be followed and every person here can make money. I wouldn't want you to look at it from a mysterious point of view and think, ah, those people that are making money, maybe there are certain things that they are doing which, which is mysterious. No, it's a formula. The closer you get to the people that have made money, you begin to realize that there are formulas. There's, there is a system that they follow, which is very systematic. You can look at it, though most of them, they try to hide it. But if you look very, very closely, you will understand that there is a way that they think. There is a way that they reason. There is a way that they walk. 
and there is a way that they spend. It's a formula. If there is such a formula, we have to look at it. Because I wouldn't want you to start by thinking of billion dollars in your account. You say, okay, so I'm going to have a billion dollars in my account. How is that going to happen? Let us start with the mindset that they have. It's not only the money that they have. They also have a mindset. 